to Random Thoughts Thursday. My name is Maddie Stolman. It's been a little while since I've done a Random Thoughts Thursday video, um, but I figure at the way that the world is right now, we all need a little bit of inspiration. So I started these videos as a way to um, bring you something of value. So maybe an inspirational interview, um, a how-to video, that kind of thing. So today I'm excited to share an interview with you with a female badass entrepreneur who I'm now lucky enough to call a friend. We started as um, someone that we did business together and then it kind of evolved from there. Um, so I'm really excited to share with you an interview with Creations and Threads store owner Bobby Brooks. Uh, Bobby owns a store called Creations and Thread which is in Wickenburg, Arizona. They, um, besides being a really cool little clothing shop, she's got a lot of really neat accessories and clothes in her store. She also offers screen printing, embroidery, and all of those kind of services as well. So someone definitely to check out if you're needing anything promotional for your business. Um, so without further ado, I will share with you the interview with Bobby Brooks. All right, I'm here with Bobby Brooks, the owner of Creations and Thread, which is a shop here in Wickenburg, Arizona. Uh, Bobby, can you tell me how long you've owned the shop? I have owned the shop for 20 years. Um, I bought it from an older couple that was wanting to retire, and it was just a tiny little shop in downtown Wickenburg. And we've just kind of grown from there. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what you offer at Creations and Thread. We do um, full service embroidery, screen printing, direct to garment printing, signs, stickers, banners, patches, and we do a little bit of logo design, pretty much. Can create a whole line for your business or your boutique and we have a lot of fun helping you design your stuff. Definitely and did you always offer all of these things or has it grown over the years? No it actually started as a one head embroidery machine tiny little business and um, people came in the door and said oh do you do this and I said yes and as soon as they walked out the door I was like oh, okay how are we gonna do that <laughs> and that's just uh, kind of turned into, you know, collecting different equipment and learning new things and fumbling our way through growth. Awesome. Can you show me a little bit around your shop? Yeah, of course. All right, so we're in the front of the store. What do we see when we first walk in? When you first walk in, um, this is our retail boutique. We're right down in town Wickenburg, so we decided we might as well take advantage and have our own line of clothing. So most of the stuff up front is custom printed in-house and then we kind of add some jewelry and purses and fun stuff to it. Lots of cute stuff. It hurts my pocketbook whenever I come in to pick up stuff. <laughs> it's hard not to take a lot of it home too. My closet is insane. I can imagine. <laughs> Okay, so you bought this business from these people and just sort of took over. Did they show you the ropes or how did it all start? Well, um, they gave me 30 days of training, which um, seemed like a long time at the time. But, you know, after I kind of dove in, it was obviously not a lot of training. And then I just kind of winged it from there. Um, 20 years ago, we didn't watch YouTube videos, so we sort of just fumbled through stuff. And... Um, just kind of learned as I went and made it up as I went along and learned new things. It's been a lot of fun. As a business owner, when you're ready to grow your business, how do you know when to take a risk or not? Well, that's a tough one. <laughs> um, so when I first bought this business, I was 23 years old. So I thought I knew everything and um, had the world by the balls. But, um, I, so I just followed my gut. I just kind of winged it. I didn't pay attention to the economy or do any kind of searching of, you know, where finances were going or how I was gonna pay for that. I just jumped in and figured out a way. And honestly, 20 years later, it worked. I don't know how. I mean, I wish I could say there was like a magic um, calculation on when you should spend and when you should not, but. I just followed my gut and went with it. Did any of the risks that you took not work for you? Yes. <laughs> okay, tell me about those. Okay, I've had some fails. Um, so 
being young and broke when I started out, I was super cheap. Honestly, I'm still kind of a super cheap person. Um, I am always looking for a deal. So I was, I would buy used equipment and you know, I'd ponder on it. And a lot of times I wouldn't know if it was gonna run or not run, you know, there was no way to test it. it but it seemed cheap, it seemed like a great thing and I really felt like I needed it. So sometimes I got a great deal and everything worked out great, but a couple of times I've ended up with Live and learn, I guess. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Where do you find most of your business comes from? Is it word of mouth, so some social media, advertising? It's been consistently word of mouth. You know, everybody has a girl that does that, has a guy that does that. So um, I feel like I make friends with most of my customers just because I've learned that that's kind of my business. That's me, that's my thing. I don't really advertise a lot. I just make friends. So it's awesome, like you. I'm just <laughs> super grateful for all the people that I've met along the way. And of course, social media. I mean, 20 years ago, we didn't have social media. And I was always wondering where I was going to put my advertising dollars and, you know, put ads in the newspaper. And thank God for social media now because it's free and it's fun and it, you, you just make friends along the way. Okay, so if I'm gonna come in and I wanna pick out some items to put my business logo on, is this where I meet you? Can you show me a little bit of what you have? This is where we meet. We have a whole room full of caps to look at, touch, feel, try on over here. And then we have jackets, vests, t-shirts, sweatshirts, anything you want. Um, and then we also have some samples laying around. say to someone that's wanting to start their own business? <laughs> Do it. Good luck. <laughs> no, actually, okay, so my best advice for starting your own business is to really be honest with yourself. Know you. Know your shortcomings and plan for them immediately. If you're a procrastinator, figure out how you're going to push through that. Um, if you're always late, figure out how to make that not even a part of what you're doing, you know? Just know yourself. I mean, don't let it hold you back. Just make sure that you're accountable for your shortcomings. If you could go back in time and talk to your younger entrepreneurial self, what would you say? I believe that the most difficult thing about growing a business is, again, you're your own worst enemy. You really have to, it's your whole, your whole life is, is your business when, it, when you're self-employed. So this is strange advice, but eat your vegetables, work out, wear sunscreen, and don't waste time on things that don't attribute to the goodness of your life. I wasted a lot of time on um, bad men and you know, kind of just chasing bad friends you know, chasing things that didn't contribute to the goodness of my life. When you are taking care of yourself, your business and your children and your relationships and your horses, everything falls into place. And before you know it, you don't have a whole lot of time to waste because I was just 20 years old just the other day. And 45 comes really fast. And then you're scrambling because you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much left to do. So take care of yourself and the rest will will follow. Okay, this is the screen printing room. This is the press. This is an eight color press. So we can do eight colors um, per design. Each color is a different screen. 
and it swipes one color and the next color and the next color. And then the big pizza oven looking thing is the dryer where it goes through and the ink cures. If someone wants to do business or get in contact with you, where can they do that? So we are right downtown Wickenburg, Arizona, which is a great place to visit. If you're around, come visit us. Come see the, the shop and we'll give you a tour. Um, also, you can email me, bobby at creationsandthread.com. You can visit the Facebook page or the Instagram, which is creationsandthreadaz. Perfect, and I'll make sure to link those in the description of the video as well. Well, thanks for your time, Bobby. I hope that everybody gets to learn something about your business and a little bit about being an entrepreneur. So I appreciate your time and thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you found some inspiration in the interview with Bobby today, especially if you are an entrepreneur, maybe a female or male entrepreneur, um, looking for a little bit of inspiration, wanting to kickstart your business or start a business of your own. Um, I hope that you can find a little bit of motivation and learned a little bit about business ownership from Bobby. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel, share, um, tell your friends about it, and make sure you go check out Creations and Thread. There's gonna be a link in the description of this video to their um, socials, so you can go and follow them there. And if you're needing any business or promotional stuff uh, for your company, go ahead and use Creations and Thread for all of that, all right? So thank you so much, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.